Wow. This is big. Oh, oh we have no help. Help. Reggie, please the man. <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? <coughs> Give this video a big thumbs up, like, 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 like. We have some dope, dope, dope gaming news items for this video. And the first one, huge. Before we get to the news, of course, PlayStation 5 console giveaway will be going down on the channel to enter one subscribe to this YouTube channel right here Two, follow me on Twitter. You're in the giveaway. Let's get to the first news item This was sweeping the internet yesterday, and it's pretty pretty interesting big in fact if this does happen Disney this is coming from fandomwire.com Disney reportedly considering Sony buyout to get Spider-Man characters. Now, this is what the article says. Disney and Sony have tried to reach a deal in the past but failed to be on the same page regarding revenue. Since the latter is reluctant to give away its rights to Spider-Man being Sony that easy, sources suggest that Disney now has bigger plans. Despite their roller coaster relationship, the House of Mouse is making an effort to buy out Sony's film decision um, division. Disney acquiring Sony will be a huge deal for the Marvel comic universe. And so this um, Disney buyout of Sony is centered around Spider-Man, Spider-Man. I have to say, Sony is a huge company. And if, let's just say, Let's go into the multiverse for a second, <laughs> Loki. So, um, Disney buys Spider-Man. What does that mean for PlayStation? It could potentially mean more money. I'm thinking, or more money that Disney could probably put into the gaming division because Disney does have um, deals with companies like EA, um, Ubisoft, to make Star Wars games. And so Disney Disney has made video games in the past, um, deals with Square Enix, Kingdom Hearts. So it's not too far, uh, far out the realm of possibility. Do I think this deal will ever go through? I don't think so. Um, Sony, in some regards, is a little like Nintendo, the Japanese, where they want to maintain uh, control over their company, even though Sony has skewed far to the west. Um, Sony's pretty much a western company at this point. Their headquarters have moved to the US. Uh, they're focused more of their games and content for western gamers. So who knows, who knows? But as the story unfolds, I got you dudes and dudettes covered, but I thought this was interesting. Speaking of interesting, you're not gonna believe this next news item if I told you. Guess what, I'm still gonna tell you. Bro. Soldier Boy is claiming he owns Atari. Don't believe me? Check this out. <laughs> this is straight from the horse's mouth. DJ D Red, cut the beat. Check out what Soldier Boy says, bro. At Soldier Boy Game, they signed me to a deal to Atari. Big shout out to Atari, the whole staff. I'm about to revamp the company. We're going to take Atari to the next level. Everybody go follow at Atari. I am now the owner of Atari. I own the video game company Atari. <laughs> and then he says, ha ha. All right. And so Soldier Boy has just said he owns Atari. And before you guys are like, wait, 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 what? What? What just happened? Atari has. Um, uh, refuted that tweet. They've denied it. 
Uh, Atari has tweeted out in reply to that video. He says, we know that the CEO of Atari is a dream job, but that honor belongs to Wade Rosen saying, pretty much saying, Soldier Boy, you don't own the company. This is what I'm sure happened. Soldier Boy and Atari didn't come up with some kind of deal, probably a multi-million dollar deal. He probably got paid. And they probably said, we're putting you on the executive board because they would probably want his name attached to it to sell it to the hood, bro. I'm just be keeping keep it a buck. Uh, because when, it, when, it, when the hood takes it, um, um, suburban America copies. And so uh, everybody will just be receptive to it. And so they're trying to um, use Soldier Boy as a marketing. Probably said, we'll put you de facto on our executive board. So he's like, in my mind, I'm an executive. What do executives do? They own companies. I own Atari. Let me make a video telling everybody I own Atari. So, um, he doesn't own the company. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. And the last news item. This game is never going to die. But this has some big implications on Bethesda exclusives coming to PlayStation. Skyrim 10th Anniversary Edition has been announced for Xbox Series X, S, and the PlayStation 5. Lo and behold, Bethesda is still putting their games on PlayStation consoles. This is what I think is going to happen. I don't know. But I really think whatever the next Skyrim um, Elder Scroll game is it'll still come out on the ps5 why because um xbox um, um software sales have been up and down but been shaky bro a lot of dudes just depend on game pass this is what i think is gonna happen they have the game at launch on game pass they get game pass subscriptions and sell it for 70 dollars on the ps5 just one humble YouTuber with one humble opinion. That's all I'm saying. All right, dude, those are news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy.